Another culture, Daphnia or Moina, the easiest way. Daphnia, a small freshwater clodosran crustacean commonly called water fleas. This common name is the result not only of their size, but their short, jerky hopping movement in water. Newly hatched fry of most freshwater fish species can ingest young moina as their initial food. Things you'll need to culture Daphnia. A starter culture. This can be from wild-caught Daphnia or from cultures of other hobbyists. Now that you have your starter culture, it's time to look for any type of container. Plastic water containers such as this will do. This is an old water bottle I use for my flower horn fry. Next is to fill your container with water. Only use stock water or aquarium water. Avoid using tap water from your water provider because they contain chlorine and chloramine and will kill your culture. Aquarium water has bacteria that will serve as food for your culture. But there is a much better choice. This is green water from my tilapia pond. Just fill your container with green water. Green water have bacteria, microorganisms and algae that will be food for your daphnia. Next is to add your starter culture to that container filled with stock water, aquarium water or green water. The next thing to do is to wait for the culture to thrive. After one to two days, your culture will look like this. It is a good practice to have plenty of cultures in small containers to avoid losing the culture if it crashes. Cultures can be aerated or not. Daphnia will still survive. Your culture can be placed outdoors. They may have direct sunlight for a few hours, but avoid places where sunlight may make the water too hot. Rain is also not a problem for your culture. Daphnias can survive the change in weather. Check your culture daily. Harvest Daphnia to avoid overpopulation. Too much Daphnia in a single container may lead for the culture to crash. Harvested Daphnia may be fed directly or washed first. Now you have a close to unlimited supply of fly food for your fish. Also, don't forget to feed your culture every other day. I feed mine spirulina powder, but you can also feed yeast. Avoid overfeeding. This may lead to your culture crashing. To avoid this, you can also feed green water to your culture. You may want to restart your culture once every month. Now you know everything you need to start a Daphnia culture. Enjoy the process. Let's learn while having fun. If you learned anything new, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. See you on the next one.